skin very sharp to the touch uh light touch hard touch very sharp to the touch wake up get your cake up cause it's all about the cream you ain't living life unless you live in not your dream what up though what it doing squash your boy every day and i'm um, back with another video if you haven't joined the channel make sure you go ahead and dab on that subscribe button and don't forget when you subscribe over here you're not just a subscriber no you part of the family now with that being said if you haven't joined the family make sure you go ahead and join squad now y'all today i'm back at y'all with another video right here out here chilling with my boy thanos right now but i came to bring y'all some information on spiked dog collars and i feel like y'all need to know this man now we're gonna talk about the pros first because that's how we rocking you know what i'm saying so the pros of having these spike collars which i do have multiple spike collars you know what i'm saying y'all y'all check this one out real quick you know what i'm saying let me let me show y'all what it's looking like bring it in bring it in the light for you real quick you know um check it out man nice spike collar like a three and a half inch collar you know what i'm saying it sit good on on my boy you know so big collar you know what i'm saying awesome collar real spikes sharp to the touch immediately you know what i'm saying very sharp to the touch uh light touch hard touch very sharp to the touch will make your finger bleed type of um type of spike you feel me um with that being said y'all these spike collars are awesome to an extent um they look great on your dogs um they make your dog look awesome you know what i'm saying or uh, um they make your dog look tough however you want to put it and um i just think it's a great look overall it's good to go out in public with um it just gives your dog a little more juice you know what i'm saying you know none other than you putting a hat on with your outfit or you having some shoes to match with whatever collars look great on dogs you know what i'm saying period especially when it comes to spike collars you know what i'm saying it just makes your dog look a lot more tough you know what i'm saying and uh it makes your dog look aggressive even though your dog isn't aggressive i'm not i'm not even gonna say aggressive i don't want to toss that word around because um the pit bulls i have or the bullies i have are not aggressive you know what i'm saying i don't raise aggressive dogs at all but do i like the tough look of a spike collar yes of course i do man i feel like they look awesome you know what i'm saying and i feel like they bring um good attention you know what i'm saying i feel like um it also attracts attention from other people i think they see spike collars like wow you know what i'm saying neat collar uh dog looks awesome dogs look awesome with the collar period you know what i'm saying come here thanos come here big boy so um let's talk about um some of the cons of a spike collar y'all um for those of y'all that don't know a spike collar is used to protect your dog it's used to protect your dog's um neck face head area um whatever you want to call it is used to be a defense mechanism um for your dog against anything you know what i'm saying and spike collars aren't just for pit bulls spike collars can be for any dog um it's from everything to a pit bull to a massive saint bernard to a poodle you know what i'm saying they make spike collars of all types uh shapes and sizes um these spike collars y'all like i said are meant to be a defense mechanism and what it does is if let's go let's go back in the day for a minute you know what i'm saying um if you got had a pit bull back in the day you put a spike collar on your dog's neck for it to go raccoon hunting 
um, or boar hunting, you know, the wild pigs and everything. Um, these collars stopped wild boars and um, anything like raccoons that may have been coming for your dog's neck, which is typically where a lot of animals go um, that use their head to attack and whatnot. They go for the neck, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, the collar's meant to inflict pain on whatever's trying to inflict pain on your dog um, as far as their mouth. So, generally when a dog would go for, or a boar or a raccoon or whatever would go for your dog's neck, um, they would get their neck bit and of course you know the neck is gonna bleed and it's just a it's a sensitive spot for anybody uh for a human or for a dog or any other animal the neck is a sensitive spot so with that being said if something was to bite a spiked collar is going to inflict pain on whatever tries to bite your dog you feel me so um this could be from an aggressive dog trying to attack your dog uh, from a boar, a wild boar, wild pig trying to attack your dog, from a raccoon trying to attack your dog, um, they're going to be more protected with the spike collar around their neck. You see what I'm saying? Uh, it's going to hurt whatever animal that's coming in contact with it, and that's from it trying to bite it or it trying to hit it. You you know, you're going to receive uh, um, a wake-up call when you bite into a spike collar. Or if you're to swing and hit a spike collar you see what i'm saying it's going to inflict pain on whatever's you know what i'm saying coming your dog's way so with that being clarified people often put spike collars on their small dogs people put spike collars on bigger dogs people put spike collars on all dogs to keep their dog safe whether they knew they was doing it intentionally or not a spike collar keeps your dog protected now you know if you didn't know you feel me that's a little um sauce for y'all who may not been aware of what a spike collar does so another con well a con of having the spike collar is having a very energetic dog you know what i'm saying having a dog that loves you a whole lot. They're going to tend to run and jump on you, be happy to see you, want to have their head rubbed, want to be petted and all of this good stuff. And when you go to pet them, that spike collar is gonna get you every single time, man. Um, if they come and run past you, it's gonna get your leg, it's gonna get your arm, it's gonna get your side. It is going to get you, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who have dealt who have dealt with spike collars um, before I understand this. Like I said, they look great maybe for a show. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have your dog sitting on the table. Y'all not doing too much. Or maybe you, you're you out, you know. And um, y'all not doing a whole lot. Uh, but as far as the everyday thing, they do kind of get in the way. You know what I'm saying? They can um, become a painful thing for you to have to deal with um over time if you have a very energetic dog if you have a very energy filled hyper dog you know what i'm saying um the spike collars will definitely um bite you over time you know what i'm saying or nick you scratch you whatever you want to call it so um Man, these are things. And also, if you have children running around, you know what I'm saying? You don't want your dog to be running around and accidentally brush your kid's arm or, you know what I'm saying, they're low to the ground and might brush their face or something like this. So, that's another kind of a spike collar, y'all. So, I just kind of wanted to make y'all aware of these things, you know what I'm saying? If you didn't know, you know your boy provide that info, that information about bullies and whatever type of dog you got, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to shed light on what I do know. Do I know everything? No, I don't. But things, are, things I do know, um, I'm going to make you guys aware of, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm grateful that I could get on here, you know what I'm saying, let y'all know a little bit about Spike Collars. So, um, hopefully I was able to answer some of your questions about Spike Dog Collars. And um, hopefully I was able to help y'all out with the pros and cons, you know what I'm saying? But thank y'all so much for watching, man. If you need more information, 
on uh American bullies, you know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. Then come back and <clears throat> Subscribe to the channel, you know what I'm saying? Because your boy going to stay dropping the heat. Uh, for those of y'all watching right now, the channel's name is Everyday Ink, which is your boy. But I will be changing my channel name, guys, to Only Apes Bully Camp. I'm going to repeat that. Only Apes Bully Camp. It's going to be the name of my, of my kennel, y'all. And uh, I feel like it's time to change the name of my channel because... It's leaning towards dogs most definitely. So I want my channel name to match my niche and what I got going on. With that being said, man, thank y'all so much for stopping by the channel. If you new here, I appreciate your time. And if you squad, you know what I'm saying, man? Thank y'all for coming back. Once again, go ahead and join in squad, man. I'll see y'all next time. Stay safe. Stay blessed.